So, okay. That's a right question. No, no, that's, that's and I understand. also just want to know, when you, like, knowing that you're doing this and, like, Wendy Williams on the verge of exposing you, was there anything going on in your head, like, one day this might come out? How will I react? The only time that I ever felt that it would really, really come out to where it's like, Mr. C, bong, bong, bong. The only time I really had awareness, because I'm going to keep it funky. I thought I was invincible. Mm. Mm -hmm. The only explanation I can give of why didn't I stop prior to Wendy exposing me when she never said my name is that I thought I was invincible. I didn't think that, I didn't think I can get caught. I didn't think that the transsexual women actually knew who I was. You get what I'm saying? I'm just a DJ. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a rapper. I'm just a DJ. Though, homie. But once again, it's me. It was. I thought I was invincible. I underestimated my popularity. I right. underestimated who I really am. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the only time that I really started to be concerned is when Charlemagne got hired on Power 105. Because right. what did I tell you a couple of minutes ago? Wendy exposed right. me. Who was her co-host? Charlemagne. Charlemagne. That's how I so met Charlemagne, when so. Charlemagne was getting hired at Power 105 back 10 years ago now, that's when I started to be like, homie knows. And he's on another radio so station. And he's on another radio you, station. And it's the enemy. Radio and it's the enemy. <laughs> yes, so you felt, you felt some kind of way, like, holding this secret, right? Like, do you consider yourself part of, like, the LGBTQ uh, community? What is it? LGBT, what? LGBT. Well, I, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm not going to sit here and say I'm an activist and all of that type of stuff. Right. I wouldn't say that. Right. But I'm not ashamed about who I am and what I, what I, what I do and what I've been through. That, that I'm not going to because, like I said, it's 10 years now. Like, if anything, I'm, if anything, I'm proud to have went through the darkest of the dark of the dark of right. my life. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm still here 